Let me just finally get the script done. Actually, I'm gonna use AI to help me out. How can I make my video about writing AI prompts more interesting? Here are some tips. One, engaging introduction. Start your video with a captivating Organize your video content in a logical a and smooth flow of information experience or a thought-provoking question that sparks curiosity explanation. Oh my God. Okay, I need to learn how to talk to this to actually get what I need. So full transparency, we used AI to animate and voice our little friend there. Using an AI chatbot like ChatGPT, Bard, or Bing is pretty straightforward, but there is an art to getting the answers you want in the format you want. So I'm gonna share four tips on how to get the most helpful responses from an AI chatbot and how to ace writing a prompt or the questions that you're asking an AI. So let's jump into it. The first thing to keep in mind is to talk to the AI like you would a person. That means be conversational, but also know that like a human, the chatbot won't always get what you're saying the first time around. So you might have to restate a question or give some context so you're on the same page. The context is really going to help the AI give you a relevant answer. So for example, say you wanna start eating better and you want some tips on how to meal prep. So instead of saying, how can I eat healthier? It's just generating a ton of content right now, and it's not very specific. So instead of saying that, I'm gonna say something like, I'm trying to cut back on sugar and carbs and eat more proteins. What are some meal prep ideas? Okay, now it's giving me specific ideas that are a bit more actionable. You've got Greek salad, egg muffins, lentil soup, this is more catered to what I need specifically. So that makes it a little bit more simplified. Even when you're giving context, remember to keep things simple and concise. Be clear about what you want. Next, remember to be specific. Tell the AI what format you want your answers in, whether it's a numbered list, paragraph, or a blurb below a certain word count. Say whether you want this for a social media post or an email or even a haiku. Do you want something written in a conversational tone or as if it's a teacher giving a lecture to college students? Say that. Give the AI relevant information about the audience and setting. If you're asking for song recommendations, instead of saying something like, what are the best Taylor Swift songs? And we just have a variety of songs here. I wanna make sure that I'm not dancing to all too well because I'm gonna host a dance party. So I'm gonna say, what are the best Taylor Swift songs for a dance party. And now we get some more relevant. We got style, wildest dreams, look what you made me do. Fits more what I'm looking for. The third tip, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. If you get an answer you're not satisfied with, re-ask your question or adjust the phrasing to guide the AI to a better response. AIs tend to change their answers each time you ask, so maybe this time you'll get what you're looking for. If it's misinterpreting your prompt, you might be able to just tell it what it missed. And if what you're getting back is totally wrong, try a whole new prompt. This process involves some patience, but with some adjustments, you should get what you need. And finally, remember that AIs can hallucinate or make up stuff that sounds true, but isn't, so you will need to keep them honest. If something feels off, ask ChatGPT to justify its responses. So you can reply with, why do you think that? Or what evidence supports that answer? You could also ask it to cite sources, then check those sources to make sure they're real. So you could ask, please provide sources for the previous answer, or provide URLs that were the sources for the previous answer. You could even ask for recommendations of peer-reviewed journals that discuss a certain topic. Which leads to an important reminder, these chatbots don't actually know anything. They're pulling from various online sources and can sometimes share false information, so be sure to check that the responses you're getting are accurate. Thanks so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Until next time.